We are going over exponents and prime factorization. My learning target is I can generate equivalent numerical expressions using order of operations, including whole number exponents and prime factorization. So an exponent is the number of times the base number is multiplied by itself. So in this case, we have the base number, which is 5, and the exponent, which is 2. So this means 5 times 5. It's being multiplied by itself 2 times. We would read this as 5 squared. If the base of does not have an exponent, it is an invisible exponent of 1. So we don't really write the exponent of 1, but it's, it's in, quote unquote invisible. So 5 is the same as 5 to the power of 1. That means it's just being multiplied by itself once. So 5 is just 5. So if a base of the base of an exponent of 0 sorry I'm going to re say that I can't talk if a base has an exponent of 0 then it's going to equal 1 so if it is 5 to the power of 0 that is 5 multiplied by itself 0 times so it's just 1 Pay attention to if you have negatives when you are dealing with exponents. So, for example, if we look at negative 5 squared, that is going to be the 5 squared and then put the negative on the outside. So, negative 5 squared is negative 25. Now, if it's written like this, where the exponent is on the outside and the negative 5 is in a parentheses, that means negative 5 times negative 5, which is positive 25, because two negatives multiplied by each other make a positive. In this case, we multiply the 5 times 5 in the inside, and then that negative is applied to the product of those two numbers. You always raise whatever is next to the um, exponent to the exponent power. All right, what is prime factorization? Prime factorization is a prime number. where it only has two factors, one and itself. So an example could be 13. 13, its two factors are 13 and one. When we do prime factorization, It is prime numbers that factor to create the original number. So you will create a number tree. So you're going to think about what numbers can be multiplied to get that number. So ask yourself, can you factor these numbers out more? Then you're going to circle the prime numbers and write them out as a multiplication problem. So for example, 20, you can do 4 times 5. 5 is a prime number, so we don't have any more factors other, other than 5 and 1. And then 4 has other factors, 2 and 2 and then two are prime numbers. So you're left with the prime numbers in a multiplication problem.
All right, we are going to solve number one. This is 6 to the 4th power. So this would be 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. I know that 6 times 6 is 36. So I need to do 36 times 36. So this would be 1,296. Next one, factor 26 using prime factorization. I know that 13 times 2 is 26. These are both prime numbers. So it would be 13 times 2. Solve 8 to the third power. That's 8 times 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Then I need to multiply that by 8. So this is 512. All right, factor 48 using prime factorization. 48 is 12 times 4. Can factor that as 2 times 6. 2 is a prime number. Then we have 2 times 3 is 6. 2 and 3 are prime numbers. And then 4 is 2 times 2. So we have 1, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4 twos. So that would be 2 to the 4th power times 3. So really in this example, I should have done 2 to the second power times 5. All right, number 5 says solve 12 squared, so that's 12 times 12. You could multiply this out. I know that 12 times 12 is 144. Number six says factor 12 using prime factorization. Six times two and three times two. So this would be two squared times three. Solve four to the sixth power. So 4,096, and then factor 8 using prime factorization, 8 is 2 times 4. So that would be 2 cubed, or 2 to the third power.